start with question number eight. We continue from last week, and we will do add or subtract the radicals. So the remaining questions we had, skip. Not finish, huh? Uh, skip. Okay, we will do number eight because too many. Number six, number seven, too many, right? And they are easy, isn't it? This is easy. Number six, very easy. Yes. Number eleven, number seven, very easy. Yes. So we do number eight first, and if we have time, we will do six, seven also. But not important. Number eight important. This is important. You know, important means. Do you know important means? Do you know important means? You don't know. Important. Number eight. So, how do you solve this question number eight? S can you read the question? Six root five plus seventeen root five. Now, root five and root five are same, right? So, we can add six and seventeen in root five. Because both of them have the radical root five, so we can add six plus seventeen. Understand? But root five and root five cannot be added. Okay? We cannot do five plus five. Six plus seventeen, how much? Twenty-three. So your answer is twenty-three root five. Is your answer? Understand? How about this question? Can you add nine and two? Can you add? Can you add nine plus two? No. Why? Because seven and sixty-three not same, right? Seven, sixty-three not same. Root seven, root sixty-three not same. So. First, we change root sixty-three. Seven, nine, three, three. So root sixty-three can be written as root sixty-three can be written as how can you write three square times seven? Yes. So which is three root seven? Yes. So that means root sixty-three can be factorized as three root seven. So we write in place of root sixty-three. So it will be nine root seven as it is, plus two times in place of root sixty-three we write three root seven. Which is equal to now three times two. How much is three times two? Six. So we get nine root seven plus six root seven. So it is like nine plus six root seven. How much is it? Fifteen root seven. Understand? Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So, what is the difference between these two question then? What is the difference between these two question? This question and this question. What is the difference? What is the difference between two, these two question? In the first question, root five, root five same, right? 
in the second question root 7 root 63 not same okay so if they are same radicals now this root 5 root 7 root 63 are radicals so if they have same radicals we can add if different radicals cannot add and if you can factorize you factorize okay and if you get same radicals again then you can add understand and it goes same for the subtract also so subtract also you use the same method like try this question now understand try I give you two minutes for this question two minutes for this question write down how much is 3 root 7 minus 15 root 7 how much find out find out can you subtract or not can you subtract 3 minus 15 yes or no yes or no yes why why yes yes root 7 root 7 okay you have to speak clearly root 7 root 7 so they both have root 7 so this can be subtracted like 3 minus 15 times root 7. Understand? So how much is 3 minus 15? How much is 3 minus 15? Negative 12. Okay. Negative 12 root 7. Do you understand now? Yes. Okay, try the last question. This one. Try this question now. Can you subtract? Can you subtract 2 and 7? Can you do 2 minus 7? No. Why? Because root 12, root 75, not same. Okay, so what do you do? What should you do if not same? What do you do if not same? What is this method called? What is this method called? Factorize. Okay? We factorize. Factorize both of them. I wait you three minutes. Three minutes. Okay? Factorize.
Okay, your friend said finished. Okay, did you? Okay. Okay, let's say uh, what he has done. Can you read? Who, who said finished? Oh, okay. What did you find? 12. What did you start with? 3. What? 4. And 2? Two? 2. So what is the value of root 12? Okay, 5 what? 5? 15. 5, 3. So root 12 can be how much? 2 root 3, right? Root 75 how much? 5 root? Understand? Yes? So in place of root 12, we write 2 times 2 root 3. Understand? Yes? In place of 75, root 75, we write 5 root 3. Understand? Yes? How you get it? 2 multiplied 2. 4 root 3. 7 multiplied 5. 35 root 3. Now you can subtract or not. You can subtract or not now. Yes, because we have now root 3, root 3. Same, right? So if you have same radicals, now you can subtract 4 minus 35. How much is it? Negative 31 root 3. Understand? Everybody understand? Good. So this is add and subtract of radicals. And we cannot add or subtract radicals. Okay? We add or subtract the whole numbers. Finished? Yes? Okay, now we use the multiply. Look at here. So now in these properties, there are many real number properties. We use number E. Number E says that if A multiplied B plus C, then we can multiply A times B plus A times C. Right? Look at here. A can multiply B. A can multiply C. So it is A times B plus A times C. Understand this? Yes? Similarly, if A, B plus C multiply A, A multiplied C, A multiplied B. So it will be B multiplied A plus C multiplied A. Easy, right? Yes? So the same things we apply in our simplifying the radicals. Simplify the radicals using the properties of real number. So what properties of real number? The property of real number is this, the distributive property. Understand? So OK, you will understand more if you look at the question. Now, can you read the question, please? Read root 3 root 3 times root 3 plus 2 root 5 ok this bracket so what does it mean this bracket means ok this root 3 multiply to both of this number ok means this root 3 is multiplying with this root 3 and also this root 3 is multiplying is this root 5. Okay? This bracket means this number outside can multiply both the number inside. Do you understand? Yes or no? Okay, now let us see. So we multiply root 3 times root 3 will become 3 times 3 plus. So this root 3 multiply with 5, not with 2. 
okay cannot multiply it with 2 because 2 is a whole number so we multiplied radicals 5 times 3 do you understand this 3 times 3 is a 3 square yes plus this 2 is a whole number so outside 5 times 3 25 or 15 15 right so 3 square root under 3 square became 3 right plus 2 root 15 15 cannot be simplified right because 3 and 5 both are prime numbers so cannot be can you add 3 plus 2 can you add 3 plus 2 student can you add 3 plus 2 you mean 5 root 15 do you mean this is this correct is this correct no why because we cannot add 3 plus 2 cannot add 3 whole number a rational number 2 root 5 is to 2 root 15 irrational number so your answer is 3 plus 2 root 15 is your answer okay cannot add why cannot add because 3 rational number 2 root 15 irrational number it has no radical it has a radical do you understand yes okay now try question number B I will wait 2 minutes I am checking if you are doing or not if you are not doing I can give you minus 1 again here Students, can you read this? Can you read this? Factorize. What is it? 
can you read this factorize what do you mean by factorize factorize means like if you get 8 factorize like this it's divide okay using the prime numbers so whatever you get like 10 factorize 12 factorize when I say factorize means start dividing understand so when I say factorize you don't understand I always use this it's been three weeks I use this word okay can you tell me what is what is the next step root 2 multiply root 2 okay wait step by step student number 3 number 3 who is number 3 finished okay what is the next step how much you get root 2 times 2 not point 2 minus minus root 2 what times 2 times 4 ok so first you write 4 first what is the number you write times this number 2 root 4 times 2 student number 5 who is number 5? Okay. What do you get right? Okay. 2 times 2, you can write 4 or you can write 2 square. Understand? Minus 4 times 2? Root 8. Very good. This is how you answer. Root 8. Okay. So square cancelled. Answer is 2. Minus can you factorize root 8 can you factorize root 8 yes student number 6 number 6 ok how much is root 8 did you factorize did you factorize yes Two root two. Okay, very good. Two root two. Because we get two four are eight and two two are four. So it is two root two. Understand everyone? Yes? Okay, good. When you solve the problems you have to you have to read also. You have to know how to say the things. Question number C. C. Can you read question number C? Read. What is this? Read. Root 6 plus 2 root 6 times root 3. So what does it mean? It means this root 3 will multiply to this root 6 right what happened hang computer hang can you do number C 2 minutes I will wait 2 minutes root 3 multiply root 6 and again this root 3 multiply this root 6 ok 2 minutes
Okay, everyone. Student number one. Number one. Who is number one? Finished? No. Okay, you tell me the first step, number one. What did he do? Root six times three plus two root six times three. Everybody's got the same? Yes? Did you get same? How much is three times six times three? How much is six times three? How much? 18. You get this? You can factorize also. 2 root 18. Look at here. 18, 18. Radicals are same. Yes? Root 18 plus 2 root 18. How many root 18? 3 root 18. Isn't it? Because it is... 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 root 18 understand do you understand this 1 plus 2 is 3 do you understand now this root 18 root 18 we factorize 2, 9, 3, 3. So how much is root 18? 3 root 2. So we get 3 times. In place of 18, we will write 3 root 2. 9 root 2. Understand? Yes? Okay. Understand? Okay, next. Everyone, try question number D. Last question. And then we will do another easy questions. Question number D. Okay, student number 20. Number 20. Everyone quiet. You know, I have your points. I can make minus point if you make noise. <laughs> student number 20. Can you tell me the next step? Root 5 
times 5 plus 3 root 2 times everybody correct yes how much is 5 times 5 you can write root 25 or you can also write root 5 square okay plus 3 root 10 2 times 5 is 10 can you factorize 10 now if you factorize you cannot get a square number so don't factorize so what is your answer can you add 5 plus 3 can you do 5 plus 3 can you add no why because not same radical right your answer is 5 plus root who is saying that not finished you say finished now I will ask students random students okay I ask how many questions we have 1 2 3 4 5 10 11 12 13 14 Okay, student number number seven. Student number seven. Root five times root eleven. How much? Root five times eleven. How much? Root fifty five. Understand? Yes. Easy? Yes. Okay, student number 8. Root 6 times root 8. How much? Root 48. Can you factorize 48? Yes, factorize everyone. How many square you get? How much you get? Root 48 is root 4 root 3. Understand? Yes, this is how you multiply the radicals. Student number 17. Who is number 17? Okay. Root 51. Can you factorize? Can you factorize root 51? No. Because 3, 17. Both are prime numbers. Student number 18. Number 18. Okay, root 30, now this is a big number, right? 18 and 32. So if you have big number, you can factorize separately. How much is root 18? Root 18 is, how much you get root 18 when you factorize? How much you get? So this is a big number, okay? Instead of multiplying, you can factorize first, like 2, 9, R, 3, 3, R. So 18 means 3 root 2, right? 32. How much you get for 32? 4 root 2, right? Isn't it? Yes? So you can get 3 times 4 root 2 times 2. 12, 
root 2 square. Again, 12 times 2. How much? 24. Yes? Easy? No. Who said no? Okay. If you find hard, you can do the other way also. Look at here. Like your friend said, it's number 18. Who is number 18? Okay. You said root 18 times root 32. How much? Root 500? 576, which is a 24 square, is 24. Same. You can do like this or like this. Okay? Both way easy. Understand? Yes? Do you understand this question? No. What you did not understand? Okay. Number 12. Student number 12. Root 12 times A. What is it? Did you find the answer? Root 12a. So 12, can you factorize or not? 12, can you factorize or not? Yes, 12. What is 12? 2 root 3a. Did anyone get 2 root 3a? Yes? Okay. Number seven. This practice at home. Number seven. Homework. Homework. Ah. <laughs> Homework. Okay. <laughs> Student number 25. Okay, how much is root 25 over 16? Okay, 5 over? 5 over? 4. Easy? Yes? You write the square root of 25, 5, square root of 16, 4. See, how easy is this? Student number 40. Who is 40? Okay. What is the square root of 49 over 100? How much? Square root of 49. What are you discussing about? 7 over 10, not 5. What is the square root of 100? 10, not 5. Student number 2. Number 2, okay. Do you get the square root of 128? Others, please find the answer. This is not a perfect square. 128 over 2 is 64. It is root 64. 
what is root 64 eight understand student number 30 who is 30 sam sip <laughs> they don't understand sometimes yeah 30 who is 30 okay what is root 300 over 3 answer you can tell me only answer 10 very good answer is 10 because we get 300 over 3 is root 100 root 100 is 10 understand practice at home okay students good luck for your midterm Okay thank you